Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Swarnabha Roy, and I'll be explaining the calculation of net um, ATP gain during glycolysis, acetyl-CoA, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. Um, so this is a step-by-step -step calculation in both animal and plant cells. Now, now first let's calculate the net gain of ATP that are being generated during glycolysis. Now, in glycolysis, ATP is broken down or used up during the first three steps of glycolysis. So, which includes, you see those red uh, circles? Um, so first we have the glucose that's being converted to glucose 6-phosphate where um, a molecule of ATP is converted to ADP and then you have fructose 6-phosphate where again an ATP is converted to ADP uh, in the formation of fructose 1,6-diphosphate and um, ATP is synthesized in those four reactions uh, those green circles and where you have that ATP is directly synthesized during glycolysis uh, when 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is being converted to 3-phosphoglycerate and then again we have the phosphoenol pyruvate uh, which is also called the PEP and that is being converted to pyruvate where again 2-ADP uh, forms ATP. Now ATP is also indirectly synthesized uh, when we have uh, the dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is also called the DHAP that's converted to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and you have NAD it gets converted to NADH and then again we have the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate which is a GA3P that gets converted to 1,3-biphosphate or bisphosphoglycerate and then again one molecule of NAD gets converted to NADH. Now um, one thing you have to remember here that first the, the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate it bifurcates into two parallel pathways right so there are two parallel reactions similar reactions happening all the time and one molecule of NADH it yields three ADP molecules uh, during electron transport chain. So since there are two parallel equal reactions happening, so, so basically we have six molecules of ADP being produced from two molecules of NADH. Now in animal cells only, only in the animal cells, not in the plant cells, to transfer NADH from cytoplasm to the mitochondria, now remember the glycolysis um, occurs in the cytoplasm in the in the in the in the, in the animals right um, and also in the plants but in case of animal cells it requires two ATP molecules to transfer that NADH to the mitochondria so one ADP molecule is used up for transferring one NADH hence two ADP molecules are used up to transfer two NADH so <clears throat> if you come to the to the table here of uh, this table showing the ATP calculation during glycolysis, you can see that uh, <clears throat> in steps one and three, where we have glucose to one six bisphosphate, you now we have two molecules of ADP being used up, so the balance is now a negative ADP. And then again, step six, where DHAP gets converted to one three bisphosphoglycerate, you have NADH being produced. I just mentioned that, so again. Uh, remember, 1 NADH uh, yields 3 molecules of ADP, so there is plus 3 now. And then step 6 dash, now when I say 6 dash, I mean this is a parallel step happening uh, where the 1,6, uh, mm, the fructose bis, uh, phosphate, 1,6 uh, diphosphate gets bifurcated. So that's why we have a 6 dash, so where GA3P uh, or the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate 
gets converted to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. So there, again, NADH is formed. So again, three molecules of ADP are being produced. Then step 7 and 7 dash, uh, where 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to 3PGA, there we have two molecules of ADP are being synthesized. So total 2 ADP there, two plus 2. And then the steps 10 and 10 dash, where the phosphoenol pyruvate or the PUPP gets converted to pyruvate, there also we have two molecules of ADP being synthesized. Again, so another plus 2 ADP. Now in the animal cells only, to transfer two of those NADH which are produced in the cytoplasm to the mitochondria, you need two ADP are being used up. So again, a negative two ADP. So the final net gain is six molecules of ADP being produced. Now let's move on to the acetyl-CoA and the Krebs cycle, uh, which occurs in the mitochondria. So you can see that the, that the pyruvate gets converted to uh, acetyl-CoA and then acetyl-CoA, it reacts with the oxaloacetate and then the Krebs cycle begins. Now I'm not going to go into details of these reactions uh, here since the goal is to calculate the ATP production. Now you can see that there are those blue circles that are present, uh, the steps uh, where NADH are being produced. So you see that from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, uh, we have NADH being produced. And then, then step three of the Krebs cycle, where between isocitrate to the alpha-ketoglutarate, we have NADH. And then again, step four, we have alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA. We have um, uh, NADH being produced. And then we have step eight, between malate and oxaloacetate, another NADH is being produced. And then between succinate and fumarate, we have the FADH2 being produced and a GTP is produced which means succinyl-CoA and succinate. Now so this is the calculation uh, between acetyl-CoA and the Krebs cycle and you see that again a 1-NADH it yields three molecules of ADP during electron transport chain. So thus we have four uh, NADH being produced between acetyl-CoA and the Krebs cycle. So four multiplied by three 12 molecules of ADP. Now FADH2 that is being produced in step 6, that FADH2, that FADH2 is, um, it, it actually yields two molecules of ADP during the electron transport chain. And we have one GTP produces one ATP. So we have a total of 15 ADP being produced. Um, uh, between uh, acetyl-CoA and the Krebs cycle. Now remember that this this, the pyruvate to acetyl-CoA and the TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle, they're occurring in two parallel pathways. Why? Because the fructose 1,6-diphosphate got bifurcated and there were two parallel reactions. So there were two pyruvate, pyruvate molecules which were being formed. So, so there are two parallel reactions happening. So basically you have to multiply 15 by uh, with, with, with 2. So there are 30 ADP molecules are being produced between acetyl-CoA and Krebs cycle. Now, so if we move on to the, the table uh, of ATP calculation during the acetyl-CoA and Krebs cycle, uh, we see that from, the, from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, we have two molecules of NADH, that means six ADP, and then the steps three and three dash, remember the dash means the parallel uh, reactions, but that is the isocitrate to the alpha-ketoglutarate, we have two molecules of NADH being produced, which means again six ADP, steps 4 and 4 dash, we have the alpha-ketoglutarate to the succinyl-CoA, where we have two molecules of NADH, means again 6 ADP, steps 5 and 5 dash, succinyl-CoA to succinate, where two GDPs are being produced, that means 2 ADP, step 6, 6 dash, where succinate to fumarate, we have 2 FADH2, that means total of 4 ADP, remember, because FADH2 yields two molecules of ADP in the electron transport chain. And finally, the steps 8 and 8 dash between malate and oxaloacetate where we have two NADH are being made that means six molecules of ADP that means a total of 30 ADP molecules are produced um, between the acetyl-CoA and the Krebs cycle. Now the final table so we have the total net gain of ADP is in glycolysis you have six molecules of ADP 
Uh, remember, in animal cells, it's six molecules because two ADP are required to transfer the NADH to NADH2 from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. Plants do not have the problem, no. Uh, plants have a much efficient uh, glycolysis, uh, energy efficient. They don't need two molecules of ADP to waste, uh, uh, unlike uh, animal cells. Now, again, so the acetyl CoA to Krebs cycle, we have 30 ADP, so the net gain is 36 ADP in animal cells and just remember that in the plant cells the total net gain of ADP is 38 ADP molecules. Now uh, I hope this uh, presentation helped you uh, to understand the net ADP gain during glycolysis, acetyl-CoA, Krebs cycle and the ETC. Please visit my website which is www.swarnavaroyphd.com if you have problems understanding our bio biology related course materials, now that includes biochemistry, microbiology, gen genetics, any wide range of biology related fields, please send me your PowerPoint slides. If, you, if you're having a hard time understanding your courses, you can send me your PowerPoint slides and notes. I can help you understand the basic concepts and can guarantee you good grades, uh, which many of my students have, have, have received. Uh, in your courses and I also provide assignment help. I can help you to complete your assignment. I can do, your, do the assignment for you and I also give you examination help, you know, live examination help. Thank you and all the best.